let's so let's be real. Jamal Murray ain't the same Jamal Murray. Be real. I mean, he putting up some points, but he ain't the same Jamal Murray like that was in the bubble. Bubble Jamal Murray was going crazy. It was yep. And that, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Everybody doing all this talk. Oh, Denver number one in the West. We can't count out Denver. Bruh, Denver always be so good. They they a regular season team. It's simple. They a regular season team. They not a playoff team to me. Couch your ass, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I couch your ass. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Matt. And... I was wrong. Stupid. Simple as that. I, I was all the way wrong, and... I apologize to the Denver Nuggets fan base. Well, I ain't gonna say the fan base, but I apologize for the disrespect I had towards the Denver Nuggets because, man, didn't they prove me wrong all the way? If y'all don't know, man, back in my previous videos or probably like earlier before like the playoffs started, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of I kind of shitted on Denver. I'm not even gonna lie. You know, I was saying, you know, calling them just a regular season team, saying that they won't get past the Lakers saying they this and that, you know, like I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I shitting on them, you know, which I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say they wasn't a good team. I wasn't saying they wasn't a good team, but to me, I just didn't believe in them in the playoffs because you did have past few years where they didn't, you know, and sell in the playoffs and it's like they'll have these good records and they want to sell in the playoffs. But obviously look back at it when they keep players was hurt and Jamal Murray, and you know, Jokic was kind of alone and everything and all that, but but don't get it confused. I wasn't saying that you know they didn't have great players because obviously they do, you know, and all that. But like I said, but I want to say congrats to the Denver Nuggets. You know, congrats to the Denver Nuggets. Um, fan base and that fan base and everything to the team, Jokic, you know, Jamal Murray, everybody, you know, man, this is a first championship in the franchise. You know, to me, I feel like that's a way big achievement to me i feel like this is for you to you know to bring a, ch a championship to a franchise that never has one i feel like that automatically puts you in the conversation with the great players you know this guy right here Jokic. i'm just saying right now but to me he's obviously he, i think he's already one of the greatest bit men of all time you gotta look at it when have you ever seen a bit man who can play like a point guard a bit man who could bring the ball up the court and you know what i'm saying and to be honest it shouldn't be no conversation about who's the best big man in the in the league right now. It should be no conversation. It's Jokic. I don't care about Embiid. Listen, Embiid's a good player. He got the MVP or whatever, but my man's not in the same conversation as Jokic, bro. Embiid can never get it done in the playoffs. Oh, I'm sorry. He can never get it done in the playoffs. It's like, what's the excuse now, bro? It's like, at first we blame Ben Simmons and, you know, people talking about Harden, but sometimes you, we got to look at you now, my man. You the leader of the team, the superstar. It's time for you. You're going to have to start getting some wine. Because let's be real. How can I say it? No matter what, the star player is going to end up getting the blame or whatever. But at the same time, it's like, damn, you can't get out the second round. You can't get to the finals. You know, you did all this crying about, oh, I want to be an MVP and all that. And saying, like, I've been robbed and everything. But when you ask Jokic about the MVP, what my man say? Chasing championships. He could care less about the MVP. But it's like, I'm going to say this right now. Like I said, when Jokic's career is over, he's going to be the greatest big man of all, one of the greatest big man, big man of all time. He could fucking around probably be top five, to be youngest. I feel like before his career over. Next year, Jamal Murray will be an all-star. He will most definitely be an all-star. And to me, I feel like he's going to be a top five point guard in the league. And I feel like he's going to be a top 10 player in the league next year. After what I've seen, you know, from the playoffs, and seeing how these folks played and everything, it's Denver's a really talented team. And I feel like they can fuck around and have a dynasty. I feel like they can have an all-time duo with Jokic and Murray. And they can they can build a dynasty, I feel like. When you got good, it, it's like they it's like everything they had was good. And it fitted. They had amazing role players. Aaron Gordon, Bruce Brown, you know, even Jeff Green, even though like he only had like four points or whatever, but and then you had the veteran experience with DeAndre Joy, even though I feel like folks gonna clown and be like, I already seen like earlier today, they was kind of saying like, oh, he won a championship before Blake Griffin and Chris Paul and all that. But that veteran experience you really need, you know, 
You know, you I feel like people clown you done as Haslam or whatever and all that, but I feel like every team needs a veteran like that. I like real talk. I feel like every team needs an OG and a veteran like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, you know, I don't want to get off topic because I don't want to take away from Denver, but can you imagine if John Morant had UD in his corner? Or like if UD was on the the fuck or if UD was on Memphis period, I'm pretty sure he would have checked out on young niggas. At the same time, you know what I'm saying? We seen him check Jimmy or whatever, which you know, congrats, you know, you gotta give the heat credit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people gonna clown Jimmy. You know, they already saying, oh, he ain't a star. He's a he he's not saying he's not a superstar, he's just a star and everything. But at the same time, it's like if you call Jalen Brown a superstar, then Jimmy's most definitely a superstar. I don't care what anybody say. He's most definitely, I feel like he's a superstar in my eye. If you call him, if you think Jalen Brown's a superstar, how the fuck you think um, um, Jimmy Butler's not? Excuse my language, that's just being real. But, you know what I'm saying, let's get back to Denver. But, I feel like Denver has a dynasty on their hands, and I feel like they can win more than one shit. They can win more. As long as 15 and 27 on the court, they can win more. Hold on, I'll be right back, y'all. Had to let my moment, moment in the house. But back to it. But it's like, I feel like Denver, they can end up winning more. You know what I'm saying? They can end up win more than one championship. I feel like, you know, Jamal Murray is going to be a top five point guard in the league next year. He can mess around and be top three. He's a superstar in their thing. And it's like, you know, I seen something on Twitter today where somebody said something about they think Denver had the easiest path or something and saying that Denver path to the championship was easy. Um, If you sweep LeBron James, bro, that shows that you're an amazing team and a good team. And which it's and comes back to the point where this man outplayed Anthony Davis. He played out he outplayed Anthony Davis the whole series. And I know AD had, you know, I think he had that 40, he had that 40 point game in game one, but Go back and look at that series. He out hustled and outplayed AD that whole series in Jokic. Jamal Murray outplayed almost everybody. I'm not even gonna lie. You know, it's like if you sweep the Los Angeles Lakers, which I understand they was the seventh seed, but come on, man. We knew they was gonna be way better than that when they made that trade at the deadline and all that. They was gonna be a way better team. And then you beat Phoenix, which I understand Chris Paul was hurt or whatever, but you still beat him with Devin Booker and KD. Stop. Stop that saying that it was an easy path. It was nowhere near an easy path. You think the Heat path was easy? The Heat had to beat, which I understand Giannis done was hurt, but Giannis played in them two games, though. He did. And then he was missing out his free throws. So they beat Giannis. Then they beat, um, you understand, they beat the Celtics. They beat the Knicks, which the Knicks is not an easy team to beat. That one need so it's like don't say they had an easy path because don't take credit away from these guys like that. Cause that Denver neither path was easy for either team. And if you saying Denver had an easy path, be quiet, man. Come on, what you want them to do? You you think you want them to play Memphis and go to state? I feel like that path would have been way more easier if you ask me. They would have they would have swept. I'm gonna be honest. They would have swept Memphis if they would have played Memphis. One hundred percent, they would have swept Memphis. But if you sweet LeBron James, bro, you're an all-time great. I think it was something like that where, yeah, another guy said, oh, he doesn't think Jokic is an all-time great player. Fuck out of here. Yes, he is, bro. That man's an all-time great player. Two back-to-back -back MVPs. Then you got the then you win the finals, bring bring a finals back to, to a franchise that never won one, and then you win finals MVP. Come on, man. You got to understand, when have we ever seen a center play like this? Damn, I'm shaking my monitor. <laughs> but when have we ever seen a center play like this? Play like a point center. When have we? We never seen it. We never have. I showed you how great this man is. And I know some people probably say that he doesn't care. Bro, my guy most definitely cares about winning. You can see on the sidelines where he's fucking... He, it, it, it was in this game. And it, last night, he lost. He went crazy on the sideline because... Jokic, according to Michael Malone, his leadership qualities have increased. Right now, he's an angry leader. This was just during the last timeout. That's as much as they was messing up, which I thought the Heat was going to end up winning this game. But I did have, you know, Denver winning in five. 
but I feel like I feel like we're gonna witness a dynasty. I'm I'm gonna be honest. I feel like if they keep these two together, which they will, I feel like they're gonna be an all time duo. And it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a different type of duo. You know what I'm saying? This ain't gonna be like your Kobe and Shaq duo. This is gonna be like a a new kind of duo and a new kind of you know play a ball. You know what I'm saying? Where you got a point center and then you got like a real deal point guard with Jamal Murray. But like I said, I really do apologize to y'all, Denver fan. I apologize to all them Denver folks. If y'all were subscribe, to, if any of my subscribers, you know, of the folks who watch my video are Denver fans, I sincerely apologize to y'all because it's like, damn. I, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't. I'm not gonna say I didn't believe in y'all, but I just felt like y'all was gonna do the same thing that y'all did every year, even though I kind of wasn't fair. Cause it's like, damn, y'all did not have Jamal Murray in those last few years or in that last year where he tore his ACL. And which I'm gonna be honest, they actually put us notice, put us on notice in the bubble. People forget when they was down three one against the Clippers and they came back and beat the Clippers. And which I understand the Lakers beat them in five in the Western Conference Final, but Nobody wanna be in that legacy scene. That legacy scene was talented. But it's like like I said, both teams played well. I kinda knew Denver was gonna win this game. I win the series, which I was right. I did have them at five. Like I said, you know, you no know, told folks at work, everybody's asking me, you know, folks all going around thinking who who you got. I said in five. One of one of my one of, I think um my, my manager he said Denver and folk. I wasn't gonna disrespect Miami like that. Miami was bowling that was gonna get one game. You know, I didn't expect them to get it against Denver at Denver, but you know I don't know man. This 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 we I feel like we're gonna witness a dynasty. These two, Jamal Murray and um Jokic, they're gonna become an all time duo, I feel like. And if they keep these team together and they add more pieces. They can, they really got some coming. And now Denver is a destination where folks are probably want to go and want, are going to want to go now. Folks weren't trying to go to Denver at first. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like Denver was almost like the Portland. It was like Denver and Portland was almost the same. Folks weren't trying to go there, but now that you're witnessing something great, you going to, um, we finally see some. You know what I'm saying? They got it done. You know, they, they got it done. Unlike, you know, the Utah Jazz, which I mean, the Utah Jazz back in the 90s, which I mean, they did run into Michael Jordan and everything. But credit to both teams, credit to the Miami Heat, Eric, Coach Foster and all them. Coach Foster is one, I feel like, is an all time great coach. He's probably maybe top five all time, you know, like to be able to to be able to have your team as the AC in the play in, beat the Milwaukee, beat Milwaukee, beat the Knicks, and beat the Celtics. Which you almost blew up, almost had a scare for a minute. Thought you was gonna blow that that three zero lead, but credit to them. And like and like I said, if you like I like I said, Stephen they said something about you know Jim Butler not being a superstar. He's only a star. If you're saying that, I'm gonna say this. If you're say, if you say that Jalen Brown's a superstar, Jimmy Jimmy Butler is most definitely a superstar there. Simple as that. But like I said, credit to the to the Denver Nuggets. To me, I feel like we're going to witness greatness with this team. And I feel like Jokic is going to get more championships. And I feel like Jamal Murray is going to end up being a top three or a top five point guard next season. And Jokic is already an all-time great center, but he can mess around the part become the greatest of all time at that center position. It's your boy, Matt. We out.